Hey guys, I'm Paul Diepman from Hunchback Music and I'm here back for another Composers Explain. I'm gonna break down the Control AWE trailer. Let's uh, dive right into it and then I'm gonna break it down in segments. Whatever you do, Stay in the light. There you go, Control. And um, I know we were uh, talking to uh, Remedy Entertainment, which is the development studio creating Control. Uh, I did play the game already, and it was one of my favorites because it combines this uh, kind of a David Fincher-ish feel and all this like uh, philosophical action adventure, telekinesis, flying and shooting, and then also combined with a cinematic abstractness modern abstract art i love that and then we were talking with remedy and they gave us a chance to say you know what we have this uh, this awesome expansion coming from control why not try some uh, some of that hunchback music that was cool i believe we uh, i worked uh, together with the editor paul which was uh, a very nice combination we got this in version two meaning a uh, version was sent their way uh, just to get kind of a grasp on it I believe there was also already footage there so we could work on the video and sometimes you just need to work without the video. I think the one thing is, of course, I wanted to stay close to the original soundtrack. Petri Alanko and Martin Stick um, uh, Anderson made the soundtrack, which is hard to compete. Uh, but of course, like uh, they needed to focus on other things, so they wanted to have a specific trailer version, but then keep it in the style of these guys, which make a very, very cool soundtrack. So as you can hear, very... Uh, gritty i know the first part what they were asking is they wanted to go for horror and i love that i have this sadistical sense in me that i always love these horror sounds and you can experiment all these sounds but they wanted us of course a little bit of this thriller uh not not the hack and slash horror uh the, the serial killer walking around but a little bit more sophistication in that meaning i think i went for the shining a little bit so we had this start, and I can tell you why we never used it, <laughs> but this is, this is how this project started. So this is how it got started, uh, which was a little bit more of a yeah, very atmospherical, shining-ish. So we started with this orchestral swells. Let me, uh, let me show it here. Look at these plug strings. And uh, of course, we doubled that down with some horns here and there. Let me see what we're going. A little bit of uh, some droney sounds. Here we go. Okay, let me get the other ones as well in here. Let's solo the whole group because we ended up not using this. But it's how it started. A little breeder. Just showing this because this is kind of the, how it started. Uh, again, I, I, I like to start with atmospheres. Uh, so kind of droning sounds, getting some uh, designs that I did myself or I use samples just to get the, like the gist of it. And I remember this setup felt to them. They said like, wow, you actually did it right. Uh, it was more layers, but th those layers are actually still in. But specifically, this kind of like pluggy string and this shining-ish feel orchestral swells, they said, yeah, it was exactly what we asked for, but now we see it on the footage. It's not really the direction that we want to go for. So we removed it. So that was the old start. Let me delete it. Boom, it's gone. So now we are back to square one. <laughs> And of course, we I, I, we did like a whole um, uh, when we delivered it, we uh, uh, we of course make a first version. It's kind of like our mock-up, and then we go further. So again, we are back at drones. 
So we still have this. Okay. Doesn't say much. Okay. It's not much. It's not much, but it is a little bit of a... Yeah, eerie sounds. That are resonating. It's almost this, um, you know, you have this glass where you put your... If you make your finger wet and you have your wine glass and you, uh, you fill it a little bit. And you go with your finger on the edge of it. You have this very nice glassy sound. If you lower that, let's say, an octave, then you get like this even bassier sound, depending on how you cue it. Uh, but that's this sound. That's this sound. But not much. It's just uh, a drone sound. So what else do we have here? Risers, of course. Never forget your risers. Uh, not much. I believe there's just two in these. A rusty pipe. Uh, I believe this is a sample from this great pack. Let me see how this goes. It's off. So nothing, nothing much going on yet. It was more of an, uh, an atmospherical start to kind of get the intro in, get a little bit of the feeling in, the act one. You need to set in this world. I believe you see this uh, hotel sequence. And then there's this small part where uh, there's this VO. Uh, and I don't know, I don't believe that the VO was already there, but it came in later, but we did know that the VO was going to be there. So, so we have this tiny atmospherical intro, very droney see and then we pause okay and then we need to hit it i believe the editor already made a rhythmic edit which is great because there was already a bpm to it so uh we could cut this beautifully or arrange it in that way to say okay now we need to go from this atmospherical start like okay okay get the atmosphere to here we go. This is uh, serious. This is to the point. This is focused in the face. So let me break it down to, I think it was this bass sounds that I started with. Here we go. So we have this one and I, let me open it for you up like with a little bit of an EQ on it. I think it's outputs. Okay, here we go. This is Substance. Uh, it's from outputs. Uh, great stuff to design some stuff with. They have amazing presets as well. Uh, you have kind of um, your your tree engines, your your uh, stuff where you can combine sounds with. It's uh, super easy to use and definitely great if you need to come up with IDs. So I have that. Yeah, but what does that do? Okay, cool. So for some reason, I found this. I created this. I don't know how I got this together. But of course, if you just isolate this part. Oh, that's already too much. Let me just isolate this one. <laughs> Okay, a little bit of a wiggle waggle, wiggle waggle woo. Um, it's okay, okay. Uh, and I, I had the footage here, so that, uh, keep that in mind. There was already a cut, there was already a tempo to this, so therefore I could dedicate the tempo of this track. Okay, so but that was cool. So we needed to ramp that up. So let me see what else do we have here. Ooh, a distorted bass. Uh, guitarish. So you have now these two things. Okay. A little bit of the tail of that wiggle waggle. But not enough. We needed to. Uh, I think it was a little bit of a click that I, that I was looking for at this time. So here we go. Let me go on tuning. Okay. Just So just layering it up. So let me isolate this one just to see what it is. Very weird. It's like a kick, a kick, but with bass. Um, I think I cut the sample, or maybe I re-recorded one of the presets, uh, and then re-recorded it, re-cut it in the sample, and then a combination. I thought, like, hang, hey, okay, the combination of these pulse basses. Here we go. Okay, that had some impact. Like, okay, pretty cool. But then again, you hear, you have just, it's just the same note, it's playing a few times in, the, in, in Act 2. Um, but there was also something with this, I believe it's this wooden, the wooden click sound, wooden sound that I thought was really cool to use, it's very minimalistically. So I think it's needed to have that question and answer, just on the, the mega minimalistic way, as well as kind of the role is abstract. So you have that 
Arkalock reverby sounds. Or it's also when you have a grand piano and it can sometimes be your pedal that you flip. I believe this was more of like a an extreme reverbed clock sounds that was a cool fit for this one. So we have this beginning. Uh, the, the piggy grow will come later. <laughs> Uh, so all these names, uh, you need to be careful because also sometimes you need to deliver the stems to people and people need to understand what you have been using and how you grouped your, uh, your music. But just for myself, I call this the Piggy Growl. But we come back to that later. So we have the bass pills. And of course, this is act two. You have your start atmosphere. We start tiny break because it was a shorter trailer. Then we go into um, what's going on. Uh, all this footage is changing. I see a little bit of drones. I see a little bit of risers. Oh, actually... A big riser. So let me combine those bases. Also combine some drones because I don't see that there's much going on. It's more isolated on these like base pulses and that's here on that click. So here we go. Let's go from the break to this turning point. It's gonna start rising. So that rise that you hear, you hear there's multiple layers again. And most of the time with these tracks, and especially if it's not very melodic and it's just keeping there, it's, it's all about those layers and about the feeling those layers provoke and evoke. So you have here, very standard riser. Uh, let me see. Very noisy, wide noisy, sharpy. With a little bit of a tickle in there. But then again, you have this squeaky noise. Let me see if that's here. Oh. Okay. A little bit on the higher frequencies there. It's f it, it, it has some character. It, ha it gives it a little bit of spice there. So let's add this one. So why you can also keep it one layer, but you, of course you, you want to make it exciting. So not just the one thing. So let me see what's going on here. I think that's that peep. Okay, and no, I think we have the bow pitched up here. A little bit of that glassy metallic sound that you hear, and that's just to ramp that last part up. You you ramp it up, and it goes to another break. So let's get back to this whole part and solo everything. Yeah, turning points. See, I'm forgetting something here. Because you hear that very weird sound. So you have these basses. And wasn't enough, clearly, to have that impact point. So we have this very strange sound here. I call it stingers. It's kind of like synth. Here it is. So you have this ringy... So, and then you have a very kind of reverse, synthy, stringy part of it. And I believe this is also, let me check. Uh, this is all audio already. Uh, I believe this is the, is this also signal? That are you? Yeah, of course, this is signal. Uh, great engine, um, very simple to use. So if you really are stuck on some ideas and you need to really find on every project which... Uh, VST, which scenes, which libraries are very useful. For this specific one, they wanted some like uh, synth uh, uh, modern, contemporary, strange David Fincher stuff. Uh, and, and that was a cool fit where still feeling that newness in it. So again, whole part with this extra element to it. Or the ring... Rising. Ooh. Okay, so here's something changes. So because this was a an expansion for control, um, you had the beginning, the atmosphere, a little bit of that pause. 
then kind of that shock factor, uh, especially because these images were really cool, very artistic, look really awesome, on beat, together with the logo Remedy uh, 505 games. And then you have this break, and this is the, the real turning point, because it's, it's getting a little darker. So you have that break, and then there is this part where they wanted to introduce this strange anomaly. We're going to watch it back in the end, and you see what's going on, and they wanted to have that twist feeling before everything goes wild. Some bases here. Let me go to the drones specifically. So we have this part, break. All right. What is going on? Oof, there's even somebody uh, grasping for his last breath. Stray light, because like I'm not always the most organized when I'm working, and like I'm just pushing everything in, and most in the end, I'm getting it into the right groups and, and mixing it right. Stray light, funny fact, I uh, I work together with uh, with the solos on doing some presets for it, also some demos. I'm not sure if this was a preset that I created myself and then later reuse it. I don't think so. A really cool uh, library as well. Stray light from Native Instruments, very cinematic, strange, and especially this sound. What's going on? This is a strange realm, you know? And I, I thought it was such a cool fit for uh, for that middle part to say, okay, we, we really want to get people off their feet a little bit, surprise them a little bit with some sound design. Sometimes also this trailer music is all about that sound design and, and how weird it can get. Bubbly slime here. Look at this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So this was not my mother in the in the bathtub. This was really something uh, something else. And you hear that clicky sound, right? So that's that switch. The lights are off. Things are or actually the lights were on, I believe, in this one. Here we go. And then the last gas. Okay, so do we have it all? Yes. Just the just the drums. <gasps> okay. No, it doesn't sound uh, very... Uh, I don't know. And I think we use this... Here, let, let me go for the risers here. We use that BP... Okay. Uh, what's going on there? Let me isolate this specifically. Okay, that's... Uh, Maybe it is my mom. I uh, I don't know. But uh, I, I can't remember if I recorded it in this uh, moment of despair. <laughs> but these are funny things like you don't hear maybe in the mix, but uh, it does give you this eerie feeling like what's going on. Maybe it's so much layered that sometimes you're like, did I hear this woman scream in the bathtub? And then you have this weird glitchy part uh, in that. Here, let me isolate this one as well. So that just layers it up to make it stranger. Oh, and then we have here Torture Souls. Let me see how that sounds. Ah, they're definitely not having a good time if you hear that. So um, then, and this is a funny thing, uh, because I did already a Daredevil breakdown. This is the sound I use as well to ramp up the ending of Daredevil. And I think I found another place for it. Here we go. It's this extremely weird transposed scream as well. And uh, now using it a little bit more in the background, uh, more as a rise than just uh, the, the tone that is it ending in the, in the Daredevil one. Uh, here it's again, the nightmare thing. And then together with the drones, here we go. Uh, do we are, no, there's no risers on the second ri or on the first risers. We got some drone action. Oh, wait, there are some hits here. Oh. Okay, just one big hit. Okay, well, I, I can uh, I can solo this with it. We got the first part, atmosphere. We got a little bit of the, the, the surprising factor, the break, and turning point in what the heck is going on. All right. Okay, and again, you see this natural section where there's a little bit of that... Space and I, I believe there's a uh, fade to black or maybe it's a, a hard cut. I don't know where we can see it in the end. And then of course now we go wild with everything. So it needed to be now this this the, the finale, just this last part. And it's because it's a short trailer. You can go pretty wild fast, and it doesn't really get. It needs to stay on your feet, but because it's short, you're not getting tired of it very fast. So let me isolate the drums only. Let's see what's going on with that. 
oké. Okay. I hear more of a gong. I hear some hits. It's just simple hits. Simple accentuations on those points of impact. Oké. Okay. Here we go. It's a layer of... Some stuff. Here, here we go. And then a few extras. So, you need to be very careful when you layer those kicks because if there's so much low end in your mix, you need to make a decision in which one is going to be my sub and which one is going to be kind of the, the texture on top of it. So, I, I think it's very important that you always layer it up. I love layering. I love using all these things and everything what's to my disposal to get to the right feeling that I want to portray. So, I think this was still damage one. Right, here it is. So... This is just some mid frequency that I thought was a was a great edit. Then let me see here. Okay, here we go. Here we got some filters. Yeah. Okay, this was just a uh, an a. Here, let me go over it. I have all these kind of sounds. They can you can use them, and I very distorted sound. You can even. Uh, Change it a little bit if you want to. Uh, easy to use, uh, especially if you are layering up and you're like, okay, I need to use that damage. Definitely a lot used in, in trailers. Uh, now damage too, super good as well. And we have more stuff here. Oh, look at that. Just a simple uh, drum kit. Uh, here. <laughs> Feels almost a little bit uh, tiny if you compare it to all these other ones. I think this is like the more... Uh, oh yeah, a little bit more of a deeper impact. Uh, this is just more to, to add down on the attacks. Um, what is here? Oh, that's the same one. That's the same one. And here we go. We got fireworks here. Yeah, that's what I like. So just to get that oomph a little bit. If you have fireworks recorded from far away, that explosion that you hear is very oomphy. I like that. I, uh, that's something I think is really cool. Let me see what else we have here. Stretched kind of drum. Okay. Uh, pretty cool. Here, I think we have you. Yeah, some big hits. I think this is from. Um, oh, um, what is the guy? What are these guys called again? Really great libraries. If I come up with the name, then I will let you know. Boom library. That's it. And. Extra oomph, extra body, and here I believe we have to. Here we go. A gongetje. Uh, and together, of course, you have that impact moment, and we needed that especially in the ends to uh, ram down. So there you have kind of your hits. It's kind of layered, it's very simple because it doesn't have like different patterns and stuff. And now we come to this. Uh, Piggy Grohl. What, is, uh, what does that mean? And I believe I called it differently. I'm not sure if I gave the stems uh, to everyone uh, or to Paul, the editor, to edit the stuff. I, I believe I did, but not sure if I called it the Piggy Grohl here. <laughs> okay. It's a very ghosty, robotic piggy, though. <laughs> You know, and when you, when you create these things and you're creating something of yourself, you need to laugh sometimes. Like if, if you if you find the fun in these creations and you're coming with all these things, you're reversing this and it sounds like a robot piggy, uh, have some fun, make yourself laugh. And I know that I have these faces that I, I go in at the studio, I make it, I do it like for three hours, I do a pause and then I'm listening back and sometimes it makes me laugh. It's like, what the, what's going on? <laughs> Stingers. Let me isolate this first. Oh, it's a synthy horn, noisy synth horn. And let me say what we have here. Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Very, here, let me hear the sound. It's here and lower. So very synthy, very aggressive, very, uh, very bendy. You know, that's, uh, that's what you kind of want. Higher, very, I don't, I don't know, it's not really pleasant to the ears, but it does really have this distorted, and, yeah, and if I can show you, there's even like a little texture to it, so, uh, signal, let me hear, 
even that you don't even hear this in the in the back so you could potentially uh, because it get lost in the mix only go for the first one because that that's what the impact is you can tighten up a little bit and if you want to change these very easily you can change the, the the shape of the waveform you can combine it and layer it with other ones really cool synth really a uh, cool plugin uh, it's kind of based on uh, a lot of samples and then you can use it and mix those things together really cool okay so let me combine those drums the piggy okay let me do this yes here we go piggy is closed and we go for the stingers okay so then again we need to get something back from the beginning so you remember that clock sounds that thick sound that wooden block sounds uh, so we combine that again like question and answer with this like extremer sounds so let me uh, get the talk i call it the talk group <laughs> oh here we go again go double time so but that was not enough we needed to ramp up so let's see what's going on here we have the bass pulse group oh we got a little bit of like guitar riggy i think i uh, i used it we have that eerie middle where things are turning a little bit like horror uh and we have the small pause with the little wooden thing and then we go into the climax so let's listen to it all together and there you have it very minimalistic uh, uh, thing just making it extreme on the end uh, 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 going back to that wooden sound that clock sound and then what you do is you, you bounce it back uh, you make groups uh, you you bounce these groups like uh, like i did and maybe you name it a little bit differently beautiful thing with this one was we already got some footage uh, so we could work really nicely with uh, with the guys from remedy paul the editor uh, who gave kind of already the the, the framework so it's very easy to us we could really define on what they requested and deliver on uh what they hoped and what they um, what their expectations were really cool let's just check the trailer and then i'm going to talk over it and see how it kind of ended up because they added some sound effects as well that are in the game uh, we just did the music for this one there you go the eerie starts the atmosphere you're the typewriter whatever you do oh stay in the light be careful so cool abstract cool shots very almost like a piece of art all right what is behind there Ooh. it's not what you want it to be ribcage man all right some cool gameplay elements things are going wild Alright. Oh, and we got like a little, uh, a little nice nudge to uh, Alan Wake there. No, re really cool to work on this. A short promo, short trailer, something uh, beautiful because it's a game that I played completely. I loved the whole game and then this expansions came and then we were talking with, uh, with Remedy and could make this happen. Sometimes this is really cool that you can, uh, can work on something that you are a fan of uh, uh, that that's why we love this industry this is why we do what we do we love this grittiness and and i think that's also the reason that they ask us like okay we want to try this out uh, they gave us a chance and they were very happy and we are very happy to do so and later on we actually created more together and this was uh, i think it was the first one we did with uh, with them and of course many more to come this was control awe expansion um i believe it's already announced that they're gonna do control 2 which is gonna be awesome i'm very very curious what they're gonna do i heard also there's something going on with multiplayer so the people that are into that definitely check them out also uh, they are a big inspiration for our sister studio uh, doing games kaoken interactive it's just amazing how they go from this narrative and, and and also having these 
new kind of like full of gameplay uh, being abstract but still being very cinematic so awesome i'm very curious what you think have you played this game uh, also if you like these videos uh, we can do an even deeper breakdown of for example the synths that we use now we um, uh, just went over the tracks itself and maybe we should even do a from start to finish where we create it from zero to 100 for now i uh, i want to thank you for watching and see you next time Hey there, I appreciate you watching the video. If you like this one, check out this video or that video. And if you wanna support the channel, make sure to click on top of my head on the logo and subscribe to the channel.